हेलो वेलकम टू एस एस यूनिटेक सुशील दिस साइड एंड दिस इज कंटिन्यूस ऑफ सिको सो परफॉर्मेंस ट्रेनिंग सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मर्ज ज्वाइंस व्हिच इज आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ फिजिकल ज्वाइन इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ दिस वीडियो सीरीज सो आई वुड स्ट्रॉन्गली रिकमेंड टू वॉच दैट वीडियो वेयर यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द फिजिकल ज्वाइंस एंड नेशनल लूप ज्वाइंस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद मर्ज ज्वाइन so what is merge join and what is the condition to use the merge join in the physical joins so it needs both the input should be sorted on the joining key or it should have the cluster index on that column so this is the first condition second condition it requires at least one eq join like in our on clause we should have used at least one equals to condition next is both tables should be contain the last data so if we have only one table has last data and second table has small data then that would be going to perform as nested loop join as we have discussed in the last video so here both tables should have proper index on that joining column or sorted in the physical order so how join will work go to on excel to understand about the logic then we'll see in practical so as we can see we have the first table and here we have the second table so again it will going to compare one by one so as we can see it has one and here we have one if any duplicate values will be there then that value will be copied and create a work table and that duplicate value will be there then joining condition will be applicable not from the second table it will be going to perform internally by the work table so as we can see one so one going to match with one so in output it will be going to return as one then again one will be going to match with the one so it will be going to return as one now here we have one and now here we don't have any duplicate values so so this work table will be dropped and moved over actual table now this time pointer will be going to point this to and it will be going to again move to 2 now we have 2 and 2 so here we don't have any duplicate values so 2 will be compared with 2 and in output it will be going to return as 2 now it's fine now pointer will move to 3 so here we have pointer in 3 but in second table we have duplicate 3 so that 3 will be copied in the work table and now lookup will be performed with the work table instead of second table so 3 is our label over here and 3 will be matched with first 3 then pointer will move to second 3 so it will be going to match so it will return as 3 now it doesn't have any 3 as well so it will be going to drop this and pointer will move to point next value so here we don't have any value now pointer will move to on this so we don't have any value so output will be going to return as this value so 1 1 2 3 and 3 so this is all about the merge join how merge join will be going to work so now go to on sql server to see in practical so as i am using sql 2017 you may have another versions of sql server again i am going to use adventure works 2k16 database so let me create this work order temporary table from this work order so we can execute this query and we can say that 72591 rows have been inserted in the work order tmp table so as i told you we should have the proper index on the joining column so now we need to execute this create cluster index on this work order temp table with work order id because in work order table we have cluster index with the work order id so we can execute and uh, now index is created successfully on this work order tmp table and in our work order table we need to check about the index so we can check and go to down and here in the index as we can see this is the work order cluster unique index so that is fine both table has the index with the order id column and second one eq join should be there so we have the eq join now we want to apply join between work order table and work order tmp table which is created at yet now we can execute and we just want to check the join so let me enable the execution plan and execute the query 
go to on execution plan and here we can see merge join so it will be going to return as merge join because both tables are large table and both tables are also having the cluster index on the joining column which is work order id column so i hope you have understand about the nested loop joins and merge join in this video in our next video we will discuss about the hash join so thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos thank you so much